Hello and welcome back to another LNER threesome some video and today we have another layout update and this is layout update 14 so quite a lot has changed since you last saw it and we'll start off in the TMD area so as you can see we've now concreted it with some filler and that has created a very nice effect for in the um, TMD building the trains run perfectly over it, the buffers will fit in nicely and we're going to spray it a concrete grey colour. <coughs> There's a class 128 just trundling around. It's a very quiet locomotive. But let's carry on with the update and we've also bought the Batman scene craft fuel point and as you can see it is very well detailed there's plenty of detail on here we've got fuel pumps um, the hoses sort of drainage drainage there's even some lights up there but they don't they don't light up it's also got a very nice weathering sort of effect so yeah that looks nice and that will just sit sit on down here on a, another wooden platform so that loco can have be fueled up and a loco on here can be fueled up also if I lower the the tripod a little bit we've got a new thing this is going to be our fuel tank. This is just an old wagon which is going to be made into a fuel tank. And we're going to use brick for a wall around it. And this is just um, off the old Hornby TMD which we cut this piece out because we don't need it. So that's going to sit there and that's going to go on there like that. We have also concreted inside this TMD building, as you can see, and um, where these locos are sitting now, there is no concrete underneath there, but and also here, we're just going to put some ballast down there. <clears throat> Okay, moving on to the removable bridge section, we have now made it fully operational. So basically, you just unclip these wires that go into it, and it just lifts out very easily. And you can see the um, the joint, the cut joint. We've also ballasted this whole section. and we've also got some more ballast down there yeah, the ballast the ballast um, carries on from behind the, um, the cabinet coming round past the um, sort of junk yard past the controllers and then carries on all the way round and then a very nice addition the turntable which I did show you in the last video but it has now been fully weathered fully weathered and also the, we've ballasted some buffer stops on there so the ballast carries around <coughs> if we just move this class 50 we've used flexi track and ballasted it and also we've got new platforms well I say new, they're old triangle ones, but we bought these off eBay and this is going to make a full length platform of what we want so that's seven pieces of platform fitting a five coach rake on there so they're going to get painted up and we're going to get some platform canopies of course this platform is going to carry on to say where the um, the tunnel mouth is going to be over there. Also, 
down here we have decided to remove some ballasting so the ballast used to be there but we've got rid of it because we want to add some details down there and finally down at the, um, the carriage sidings we have now sprayed these um, the carriage platforms and we've just they're just awaiting the white line to go on each side and that's also going to be the same colour as what we're going to spray the team TMD concreted sections in also down here we can see if I just uncouple this wagon oh, this wagon is the first wagon I've actually weathered myself if we get a bit of better light I weathered this myself I think it turned out pretty good as I say this is my first attempt at weathering so I hope to be weathering some more stuff sorry about you can't really see it but yeah so that's my first weathered wagon now I wanted to um, demonstrate the turntable in action so I'm going to fire the class 7 up and take around to the turntable. Okay, so the class 37's made it round, so I'm going to bring her onto the turntable. So as this isn't motorised yet, I'm just going to use my hands. So the lights have clicked. Now she's in a different direction. You've just got to make sure it's all lined up. Which I believe it is. Now we should shouldn't have to change the direction on the control and indeed she just rolls off so we should possibly get that motorised it'd be a lot better so yeah so finally guys we are at our workstation dining well the conservatory table so we've got the rolling road there um, this is a little project that I want to do these old coaches um, I'm going to try and repaint them into de departmental livery so basically all you have to do is change the white or the grey into like a red orange sort of colour here's just another little project I was doing bit of weathering probably can't see it very well because of the light and also if you're wondering where the TMD building is it is right here it's been resprayed and now having some um, black paint painting onto it and here's another little project that I've been working on this was just a not old blue wagon and I'm painting it into a um, a coal sector wagon so it's the dark olive green yellow and then the dark brown the red colour for the inside so that's just what I've been working on so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget leave a like and subscribe if you want to thanks for watching see you in the next one